nice and lovely guys as you can see I just shared some of the macaroni and cheese as you guys can see Chef Ricardo back in the kitchen one more time with your dishes guys Lovely dishes and amazing dishes, drinks, food, everything, you name it and you also can claim it Remember Christmas is coming up very soon and we got a lot of recipe for Christmas We start to put out some Christmas tips already and there's more to come Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel and remember to get a copy of my cooking book online from Amazon and it's the best price ever in this world. We love you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely guys. I'm just going to make you a simple, easy macaroni and cheesy old English way. But you know I me, mean? I'm going to give you that like a change and tips. Right here I have some peppers. This is some mixed pepper which I'm just salt taking off at the moment as you can see. Looking lovely and nice. Right over here I have some white onion and also some red onion so i'm just gonna change up the color a little bit this evening so the only thing i want to simply want to simply say to you guys that you can get the sauce to buy anywhere you know what i mean this evening i was saying to myself you know what i'm gonna make a, a macaroni and cheese because you know what i mean i gotta pick up my daughter from school and all that thing and i want to come home and do something very quick and the only thing i could do is just get a white sauce a macaroni and cheese white sauce this sauce you can get it at any local shop supermarket to buy and it's a really good sauce to use to make your macaroni and cheese so we're gonna make some macaroni and cheese this evening but basically i'm gonna put my little tips and a little changing a little bit of a little bit of on it guys as i can see right here i have some red onion and some garlic right over here on the side taking off some peppers and over there, I'm gonna cook some pasta. Right here, we're gonna finish off the sauce right here. So let's do the sauce. So right here, we're gonna simply do some sauce. And as I explained it before, what we're gonna simply do first, the first thing we're gonna do is pop a little bit of olive oil inside of the pot like that. What I'm gonna give you a secret, guys, where you can do this at home. And seriously, you will love it. All right, the next thing, some butter. After you put your butter, some garlic and red onion. Take that around for about five minutes, four minutes to five minutes. Nice and lovely. So right here, as you can see, I just fry off my garlic and white onion. So basically, what I'm gonna simply do is pop a bottle of white sauce. I can make my own white sauce, but it's very easy and simple macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna pour it straight inside of it like this. That's the bottle of white sauce. As I said before. You can go to any local shop and get the white sauce to buy. Simply pour a little bit of milk inside of the bottle like this. And just simple shake it out. Pour straight inside of the sauce like that, guys. Lovely. The bottle of sauce is 480 grams, so which is that very easy nothing complicated nice one then simple use it your whisk and give it a whisk like this you might see have a spring up a little bit of oil but that's fine we know to get around that no worries put a little bit more milk nice one After you do that, then what we're gonna do next, we're gonna put some cheese inside of it, but the cheese can get to melt. Roughly a handful of cheese. Inside of it, just like that, guys. Turn up a little bit more heat and eat it. After you do that, then put a little bit of coarse pepper. Lovely. Nice and lovely. So as I can see, now the sauce is getting thick. 
I just put roughly one and a half more cup, one and a half more handful of cheese inside of it. As you can see, how thick it is because I need it to get thick. So, what I'm gonna do, I might pop a little bit more, one more handful. So, three handful of cheese in the white sauce will give it this thickness. Look at it, beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. That's what they call a proper cheese sauce. Really thick. Really nice and lovely. Hopefully you guys will like the recipe. So I'm just gonna make this cook for another two more minutes, then we're gonna turn it off. Nice and lovely. So right here as you can see, that's the sauce. So, so all you need to do, go to any local shop, buy a bottle of a white sauce. Very easy and simple. Let's pour it in our own pot and simple. Add some cheese to it and a little bit of milk. Some onion and some garlic. And that's it. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna turn off my stove because this is finished now. The sauce looking lovely and nice. I'm gonna turn off my stove and then we're gonna simply get it ready because my macaroni is my pasta is cooking. I'm using some pasta. The pasta is cooking, so hopefully, guys, you will love the recipe. Nice and lovely. So, now the, the pasta ready. Basically, pour them off straight inside of a container like this, guys. Drain it off. That's what you need, and that's what you're looking for. So, as you can see, that's the lovely pasta which we just done cook. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So, we'll leave it for it to drain for about a minute or a second, and then we're gonna mix it with the white sauce, with the cheese sauce, and put it in the oven and bake it for a nice good 30 minutes or 25 minutes. Gas mark 7 or 6 is really good for 25 minutes. If you use a different oven, but just 65 is good for the same time. Enjoy it. Nice and lovely. So right here, my big board. Pour your pasta in it like this. That's one of the main things you need to do. Peppers where you just fried off. That's all the peppers. Lovely and nice. And simply give it a mix like this. So you're gonna get a lovely colorful. The next thing, simple. Put a handful of cheese inside of it and mix it. Nice one. Simple. Get that sauce. That lovely sauce which you just met, the cheese sauce. Alright? Pour it in it like this. Ah oh, man, look at this. This is beautiful guys. Mm. Pour the water of the sauce inside of it because you're gonna need all of that sauce. Oh man, look at that lovely. This is a proper macaroni and cheese. The only thing I not like using is macaroni, but you know what I mean? This is where you, you don't know, use the macaroni and do the same thing. In the meantime, please pre-eat your oven. That's the key point. Oh. Should I taste it? Yes. Oh man. Mm. That is nice. Mm. Really cheesy. And that's what you're looking for. My oven bowl. My oven tray right here. This is a nice tray to bake things in and to put in the oven. Look at it. Beautiful and nice. I encourage anyone to get these to use at their home. 
So right now I'm just gonna simply pour my macaroni and cheese which I'm making now straight inside of it like this. And then in the meantime my oven is ready. So basically straight inside of the oven. Now what you're gonna do as I can see, lovely and nice. And full of cheese and simply sprinkle on top of it like this. Not too much. You don't want too much cheese. You know, make a, there's a lot of cheese inside of it already. It's a little bit of cheese and simply sprinkle it on top of it like this. Nice. So that's what exactly what Chef Ricard is all about. When you look at that, guys, you can see the beauty of exactly what I'm all about to make it a simple, easy, quick macaroni and cheese at home. Enjoy the recipe. All right. Nice and lovely guys, as you can see in the oven. Look what you make. What on it? When you got food in the oven, this is a put. You see that in the corner, it's just a like cook. Yes. So anyway, the macaroni and cheese, is finished now we're gonna share it out let's dish it out very quickly and see exactly what's going on guys really fantastic looking lovely and nice enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments below very important for chef ricardo and we're always coming up with ideas for you guys so it's back to school and kids love macaroni and cheese parents when you come from work something very easy and simple and quick to make remember Leave your comments below and give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. Simple recipe, easy and effective for the parents and for the dad. Enjoy the recipe from Chef Ricardo today, guys. We love it. Macaroni and cheese. We love you, guys. We love you. And that's why we give you such an easy recipe like this. Nice one. Enjoy it. Really nice and lovely, guys, as you can see. I've just taken it from the oven. And look there. Still a cook. Still a cook. Woo, my days, man. Mate. Look at the macaroni and cheese. Tell me, do you never see anything look like this before in your life? No, I first honestly, this, this looking so lovely and nice, guys. It's amazing to make macaroni and cheese. I love this. I love cooking. Anyway, enjoy. Leave your comments and thank you so much for watching Chef for Cutter Cooking Program. We got a lot more recipe like this coming up. Remember, we got veg inside of it to balance the diet and all you need to do. Pre-eat your oven. Guess mark nine or seven is good for 25 minutes inside of the oven till you get that lovely color see you next time nice one nice and lovely guys as you can see i just shared some of the macaroni and cheese as you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about the reason why we put veg is to balance the diet because there is cheese and pasta you know what i mean it's just amazing guys but hopefully you guys like the recipe subscribe to the channel and leave your comments right over here as you can see is the macaroni and cheese looking so lovely and nice fantastic work guys it's just amazing as you can see looking so lovely nice and lovely macaroni and cheese and this one is from chef ricardo today and hopefully you will just enjoy it see you next time bye bye Christmas, we have a lot of idea. Remember the Jamaican rum food cake and sorry, so a lot of things is coming for you guys. So thank you so much, and hopefully, you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself and see you in the next time. Bye bye.